Hey, you guys, it's your girl, the Empress uh, 555, and I'm coming to you with another one. Okay, today is hump day. Okay, I've got the camera on this side. I gotta look this way. Um, <clears throat> so, let's see what's going on for this hump day. Let's see, you guys. I do not own any rights to any music. So let's see what's going on for the collective on hump day. Hump day for the collective, okay? Is this December the 1st, y'all? I don't know, I don't know. It might be the first of the month, I don't know. I need to check that out, okay? Cause I don't know what day it is. <laughs> I think it is, cause yesterday was the 30th. Okay, anyway. Let's see what's going on. Okay, I see some business opportunities. Okay, okay, some collaborations. All right. <clears throat> There's definitely someone who, um, I feel like with the Three of Pentacles here, you're definitely um, looking at your collaborations, your teamwork, um, things that community-wise, you're looking at the people around you, and some people are trying to end some cycles, you know, with some people around them, okay? I also feel like you're committed to the wisdom, and you are committed to um, higher... higher um, A higher level of commitment to spirit a higher level of commitment to yourself and then some people are ending cycles with people so they can get in a higher level of commitment with somebody who they want to be with okay um, <clears throat> let's see what's we're gonna take on this three of Pentacles and see what's going on with this three of Pentacles with the three of Pentacles boom new love new, new birthing new things new things that are in your life yeah so I feel like People are ending things. This is, the, you know, people don't want to go into the new year with the with the bull, you know, straight up. And so they are ending uh, things so they can plant new seeds. You know, seeds are growing. Yeah, some people are finding out that yes, they're going for their wish fulfillment. They are ending cycles with the Ace of Cups here with the wish fulfillment. Somebody is definitely and the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Somebody is definitely. Um, they're going for their wish fulfillment, okay? Yes, with the <laughs> somebody is very attracted to somebody. Somebody is going for what they're passionate for. Uh, King of Cups still at the bottom of the deck. Somebody is withholding their feelings back right now, but they are definitely ending these cycles. They no longer want to deal with people that they used to deal with, and um, you're going for what you want, <laughs> basically. Come on now. Yes, with the okay, because you've been patient enough with the temperance card here. You've been balancing yourself out, and somebody feels like they're ready, they're ready to explore now because they have balanced themselves out. Okay, um, <laughs> definitely, uh, could be an earth angel here. All right, yes, with the hermit mode, yeah, people are pulling back <laughs> on this weekday's energy. People are pulling back, balancing themselves out, and they're keeping it a secret with the um, high, the high priestess at the end of the deck. They're keeping secrets, like they don't want everybody to know what's going on with them. Is what I'm hearing. And then they're they're going within to to get that clarity that they need. Okay, Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands, please and thank you, Spirit. Woo! Commit me, y'all. Somebody is... You're about to have a celebratory moment here. Yeah, with the high, Hierophant and the Ace of um, Wands with the Four of Wands. I feel like that it's going to be some conflict because the Four and the, and the Ace of Wands is here. It's going to be some conflict that uh, people are just going to be conflicted in their mind about how to do this situation that they're trying to release, but... I do feel like the people that you're trying to release are going to have conflict as well because you're ending these cycles and you no longer want to deal with these people anymore on this weekdays. I mean, on this hump day's energy, okay? Okay, give me two messages, spirit. What is the advice? Yes. Um, gather your information. Gather all the knowledge that you need. Learn what you need to know. Uh, learn who's who. And be assertive when you do this. You're going to have to you know you have to do it y'all you gonna have to <laughs> it is what it is be assertive you know 
learn what you need to know from this situation and move on and push 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 on. I don't know what the heck I was about to say. Okay, let's see. Last message, yes. Make sure that before you move on from anything, you heal. You heal the, you heal yourself, okay? Heal from the situation that you're in. Most definitely heal yourself. Take it take it for what it is. Balance your stuff out. Pour into who pours into you. And definitely you are a star. You know what I'm saying? You are a star. You are the you are the one that you're you're gonna grow into something different when you do this. Yes, because your ten of cups is waiting on you, your happiness, your wish fulfillment. Yeah, and you're gonna have some people that are gonna try to stand in the way, like I said. But as long as you stand strong on what you want, there shouldn't be any problems. Yeah, I do feel like you're going to be um, in blissful happiness once you decide to do the things that are necessary for you, okay? Let's check out the mental state. Check out the mental state, please, and thank you, spirit. Let's get it. What is the mental state, please, and thank you, spirit, of the collective on this hump day when they're trying to release some things? Some of you may be stuck like in a mental prison because you're trying to release it. Altruism, okay? The quality of unselfish concern for the welfare of others, okay? So, you're 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 definitely thinking about people's feelings and how you're going to affect these people while you're doing what you have to do for you. But you know, I just feel like you have to just use your Use your discernment, y'all. You can't always think about other people. You have to think about yourself. Because at the end of the day, self matters, okay? Let's go with the... The, um... Rebel deck. We're gonna do the rebel deck. Please and thank you, spirit. Rebel deck. Please give me clearance because it's 717. I just saw it. I always, I've been seeing that number for like three months now. And it's a great number. Please give me clear and concise messages. Please and thank you, Spirit. From the Rebel deck, what do you want the collective to know about this transition they're trying to make in their life? Woo, okay. Hold on, y'all. Okay, take a shot. Don't take 12. Take one or maybe two and then move on. Yeah. Take you a shot, then move on, okay? It is what it is. You got to do what you got to do for you. You got to do what's necessary for you. And don't put anybody before self, you know, but God. Okay, believe what you see. Face reality or live in fucking la-la land. Choose bravely. Yes, believe in what you see. These people may be telling you that, oh, no, 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 no. It's not like this. It's not like that. Yes, it is. Take it for what it is. When somebody show you who they are, believe it. And then um, make your discernment and your decisions the way you need to, okay? All right, eat some fucking vegetables. Eat some shit made from Mother Nature, okay? Some people may be uh, trying to change their diet as well as changing things that are in their life so they can, um, you know, when you change your diet, I, I will say this, it helps you make good choices, you know? Sometimes the food helps us make good choices. Well, not sometimes, all the time. The food that we eat help us make good choices, okay? And for the people who are interested in the love, portion 909 as I say that all right give me clear and concise messages on love if this is somebody yes okay financial and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now and this could be the one you are already you already met the romantic partner you seek um <clears throat> you already met somebody that you like 
You know what I'm saying? You're very attracted to this person. And um, you may be worried about your finances. But when you go into something real with somebody, don't worry about your finances. It will come if it's right for you. And if everything is aligned, it will come. Don't worry about the outcome or your finances or whatever the case may be. Because whomever's going to love you is going to love you regardless. Now, nobody want anybody that's a leech or anything like that. But whoever's going to love you, if you're a hard worker and you're doing the things that are necessary to uh, persevere in life, you're definitely are going to uh land the type of money career or whatever that you want um keep the faith okay and be strong don't 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 think that uh finances is the only thing that's going to um steer your relationship romantically in a better position you see what i'm saying so you guys that's all i have for you right now on hump day i love you guys until we meet again peace